Since its founding in 1918 by Adela Prentice Hughes, the Cleveland Orchestra had performed in various auditoriums and theaters throughout the city and on tour, although its major subscription series was presented at Masonic Auditorium beginning with the second season, scheduling conflicts prevented further expansion of the concert season. Building the orchestra a permanent home was seen as an investment in its future. It allowed for easy scheduling of not only concerts, but rehearsals and broadcasts. When announced in 1928, the construction of a permanent home for the Cleveland Orchestra was intended as a gift from John Long Severance and his wife, Elizabeth. John Severance, whose father was treasurer of Rockefeller's Standard Oil, was president of the orchestra's board of trustees at the time. Shortly after the announcement of the Severance's initial $1 million pledge at the orchestra's 10th anniversary concert, Elizabeth Severance died unexpectedly. In the months and years that followed, Mr. Severance devoted his energies and finances toward the new hall as a memorial to his wife. He spent nearly three times his initial pledge towards the building's design and construction, the cost of the hall nearing $2.6 million. However, before construction began, it is important to note that the Severance's gift had a condition. It must be matched by the people of Cleveland in order to form an endowment not only for the orchestra, but the hall, ensuring its existence into the future. This condition was more than fulfilled by the spring of 1929, about six months before the famous stock market crash in October. The Cleveland architectural firm of Walker and Weeks was chosen to design the orchestra's new home. As the city's leading architects, they were responsible for much of Cleveland's visual character during the expansion years around World War I. Many civic and landmark buildings by Walker and Weeks include Cleveland Public Auditorium, Federal Reserve Bank, Cleveland Public Library, and the Allen Memorial Medical Library. The new hall would be located on the campus of Western Reserve University, now Case Western. Groundbreaking took place on November 14, 1929, and the hall was completed in a mere 14 months, in part due to the availability of workers during the Great Depression. The building as a whole reflects Mr. Severance's determination to create an elegant structure of the finest materials, incorporating the most advanced features available at the time, including air conditioning and the ability to air radio broadcasts. The building's exterior is designed to harmonize with surrounding institutions and in university circle, including the Allen Memorial Medical Library and the Cleveland Museum of Art. The base of the building is Ohio sandstone, and the upper is Indiana limestone. The hall contains two auditoriums, a large one seating 2,000 for the orchestra's performances and a smaller one seating 402 for chamber music. Various other spaces in Severance Hall allow for receptions, interviews, dressing rooms, and offices. The building was dedicated to Mrs. Severance during its inaugural concert on February 5th, 1931. The concert hall underwent several renovations to improve the sound quality as the science of acoustics advanced, a major one replacing the entire stage in 1958. From 1998 to 2000, the hall underwent an extensive $36.7 million renovation to restore the building's original beauty and architectural integrity, as well as to modernize and enhance the guest experience. In addition, the Norton Memorial organ was restored and reinstalled where it can be used regularly. The four-story office building was added for staff and additional musician areas. The building was recognized by the Cleveland Landmarks Commission in 1974 and listed in the National Register of Historic Places in 1983. Beyond just Cleveland Orchestra performances, Severance Hall hosts weddings, business meetings, films, and other musical events as rentals and hosts regular building tours to showcase its architectural features. We look forward to seeing you at Severance Hall soon.